The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with a quick Madden 17 video. Guys, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is me finally completing Mutt Master. I know a lot of you guys have finished it. Uh, this is me completing it, getting the cards out of it and everything like that. Um, I thought it was kind of weird that there is no pack art, so I was a little bit confused here. That's why you see it just a black screen there. Um, and then I ended up having to go back into it to try and open it. But anyway, um, this is what it looks like when you get Mutt Master. This is kind of how the pack opens up. You get the 500k quick sell. And then, of course, you're going to get the Gronkowski and all of the other stuff as well. Now, I ended up actually giving away my Gronkowski to my friend, Madden12 Mutt Team. You guys have seen him in videos with me before. Uh, he helped me complete all of the Team Heroes, which was such a huge relief because those things were a pain in the ass to do. So I really appreciate him doing that. He went out of his way to do that for me and actually helped me finish off some other stuff as well. Um, I think he helped me finish, I want to say solos, but I think he might have actually uh, helped me with uh, the salary cap and ranked draft champions. Um, not that I couldn't have finished it myself, but it was just much quicker to have somebody else on there who can play a little bit more often than I can uh, complete it. So I do not have the Rob Gronkowski anymore. I gave that gave that to him as kind of a little reward for helping me out. So um, And he was actually the first person to complete Mutt Master, so he's already used Gronk, and I think he ended up selling him. But uh, with that said, let's take a look at my lineup. I'm going to show you guys a quick lineup update. All right, guys. So here is the lineup. Really nothing crazy. Um, you know, I, I haven't spent a whole lot of coins in this game, to be completely honest with you at this point. Um, the only things I really have spent it on, I, I bought the Cowboys Color Rush jerseys. So I had to buy some players for that and that kind of stuff. But other than that, I really haven't spent a whole lot of coins in this game. Um, it's been kind of grinding and doing the team captain sets. As you can see, I basically have every one of the team captains. And for the most part, all of those players are starting on my team. I do also have a Marcus Gilbert that I got from Friday Night Draft Champions. Um, but other than that, the lineup is pretty much mostly players that are either like the limited edition players, the limited use, excuse me, players, or else the, um, uh, the team captain or team hero players, man. Like, I, I, I really haven't played a whole lot of Mutt, and I haven't used any of the the contracts for these guys, really. Like, the Adrian Peterson, the DeAndre Hopkins, um, the Antonio Brown here, I haven't used any of those contracts. Maybe on accident, I used one to complete a solo or something like that. But other than that, I haven't really used them. So that's kind of the lineup there, guys, um, as far as offensively. Oh, one thing I did want to point out, my backup tight end right now, I'm actually using Joe Barksdale. Um, and, and the reason for that is because I really want to be able to have kind of a power running game and if I don't have another good tight end like I really don't here I have Charles Clay and then anything beyond that is just garbage so basically what I've been doing is putting Barksdale in there on occasion and utilizing him as a tight end to kind of seal the edge on run blocking so I think that's a pretty good thing that I've uh, been implementing and uh, it's it's kind of been working as far as like even on salary cap I've been doing it so um, yeah I mean it's it's been working pretty well for me on that now Wide receivers wise, uh, I know DeAndre Hopkins is going to be gone. I do love Tyler Lockett playing as my slot receiver. I do not like him on the outside, but as a slot receiver, he's really, really good. Um, and then defensively, guys, basically, again, just <laughs> as you can see all the H's, it's just tons of team hero cards because these things, once you finish those solos, like there's no reason to not use them right now, in my opinion. There isn't a substantial enough upgrade for the most part between the, you know, the 87 overall players. Um, that you can buy or the 85 overall ones that you get for free. So why not use these 85 overall ones for the time being until you're able to actually afford the better players and until the better players are actually better, you know? So that's kind of my opinion on it right now. Um, again, I still do have the limited use Josh Norman, the limited use Von Miller is available for me as well. The Indomitian Sioux. So those guys are kind of bolstering the, the lineup right now. Um, once I've utilized them for a couple of seasons, they'll be gone. Of course, uh, but I do want to do that before they run out or when I, when I say run out, I mean, before their value runs out essentially, uh, because right now these guys are a substantial upgrade. The Von Miller, the Josh Norman, the Domicong Sioux, they're a substantial upgrade from anything that I could really afford. Now I do have 500,000 coins. That is true. Uh, but basically the reason that I am going with my lineup kind of being a budget squad right now is like I said, because I just don't see any real reason to upgrade. So hopefully at some point, 
they'll be putting out cards or at least make them, you know, decent. Eventually, maybe like there'll be enough cards that the high overall guys won't be quite as expensive as they are uh, because the value just in my opinion is not there right now for me to go ahead and actually buy any of those guys. So I know a lot of people want to see the lineup update. Uh, it's not anything special right now. It's an 87 overall. Pretty much anybody can do this just by doing solo challenges. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a quick favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And guys, make sure that you guys do finish Mutt Master because it's something that uh, I think is it has quite a bit of value. Um, oh, and then one thing I did also want to say, uh, as far as the Rob Gronkowski goes, um, yeah, I, I understand a lot of people are probably going to be pissed that I uh, gave him to my friend. But look, it is one of those things where, like, I'm probably not really going to use him that much anyway, to be completely honest with you. Like, I know that that he is really great, but it was much more valuable for me to have my friend help me finish some solos and help me finish these team heroes uh, than it was for me to, uh, to actually – utilize Rob Gronkowski once uh, you know once I got him so that's why I decided to give him Gronkowski for that but anyway guys thanks so much again for all the support hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys again soon